That's Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. It's available now. <laughs> Is that a cyber shark? <laughs> Uh, did, did you yes. Just, did you just cyber skin that shark? I did. What? What is going on here? This is Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, set in the far-flung future of 2007. Okay. <laughs> that takes place some years after 20XX? Yeah. Alright. Uh, something's bad over there, I don't know. That's outside oh, of the game oh, world. Shit. But, uh, that's... <laughs> that's amazing. We're at the edge of the world here, wow. so that's, uh... Well... I think that really just speaks for itself. <laughs> uh, so this is this is uh, a standalone thing that yeah. starts with Far Cry Three uh, from a gameplay perspective, but it's not attached to it in any kind of meaningful story way. Mostly just um, the engine and maybe, yeah, it's mostly maybe. just the engine and, and the concepts and stuff like that, and they they apply them to this kind of uh, fake '80s movie aesthetic. Um, kind of just it feels like something you would catch on Showtime at like. 2 p.m. Okay. on a Saturday a in 1987. Is it, or is it actually premium cable calendar? It is. And not say like the USA network? Yeah, I think it is. Because, okay. you know, if you just think back to, you know, the premium cable was not what it what, what it is now. Oh, we're talking back like, then. Uh, we're talking like theatrical films. Yeah, we're talking like to, okay. direct to video movie yes. or, or, you know, B grade, gotcha. uh, you know, your. Well, Megaforce, it's not, it's not a B-grade anything, but, you know, just like that type of yeah, stuff. Yeah, so, point taken. Uh, we're a cyber commando named Rex Power Colt. We're a cyber commando, so, you know, scan lines on everything you yeah. kind of see in the world there. Um, not necessarily when you get up close to some of these objects here, but definitely the sky has this kind of... <laughs> I like the idea that just the sky has the scan lines, or just the... Just the distance, really, right. you know, stuff up close. Scan line to fog. Yeah, yeah, basically. Um, and, you know, it's uh, it's a Far Cry game. We've got a menu here. This is a, a clear, uh, this is a post-game save, okay. so I've liberated these garrisons. Okay, so this is the whole game here, the whole land uh, yeah, mass? Yeah, this is the whole land mass here. They've okay. got, like, seven main missions and, you know, a handful of side things uh, that pop up at these adventure cabinets when you um, <laughs> when you liberate a garrison. And that's, uh, you know, the game's got a, going for a real specific tone, uh -huh. but then it kind of undercuts that tone with some stuff that's maybe a little too self-aware. Huh. And that's my core problem with this whole thing. But yeah. let's... Wait. All right. Uh, so this is this is a hunting side mission. It actually was a cyber shark. I yeah. Care. I didn't. Okay. Just as long as I get to shoot shit. Uh, so that's Michael Bean. I was gonna say, but. Getting work. If, if you told me that it was Michael Rooker, I would believe you. <laughs> it kind of sounds like Michael being doing a doing, doing, doing his, a Michael doing, Rooker doing impression. His, his, his best Michael Rooker, or just a Michael Rooker? A Michael Rooker. It, it, okay. it's, it's a good one. Yeah. Is that a toy boat? Oh. Never mind. Did you like it? I did. Like, yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, the gameplay's fun. Like the, yeah. it's weird. It's dumb, uh, but in in a in a really endearing way. It's just stuff where like you know all the, like I said, you know, like they go for this this kind of very specific tone, and a lot of and a lot of the time they really nail it, and then they undercut it with, like the loading screen tool tips and stuff, just being super self aware and like you know instead of rocks you throw out twenty sided dies. <laughs> Which the the game then you know makes a joke about calling you a nerd for having D20s in the tutorial, which just does, it stand, it doesn't fit. Uh, if they'd committed hard one way or the other, it right. would probably be a better game. All right, so oh geez, it wants me to kill a shark with explosives. Do it. All right, geez, that's that's maybe a little difficult. All right, well let's get this C400, and then we'll go find. Uh, the rare shark, which I don't think that's the one, but... Wait, can I even throw explosives while I'm... I think you can. I, I seem to remember throwing... Oh, God. I think you could throw the triggered explosives, couldn't you? No, I can't throw anything while I'm, while I'm could, in the water. Well, not in the water, but at least in the in the, the base Far Cry 3 game. Yeah, yeah. Pretty sure you could toss the C4. Don't just plant it. Yep. Oh, that's right, yeah. It's a real short toss, so you have to angle it, yeah, real high. Well. Oh, yeah. I'm bad at this. Damn. Um, that looked like you had it. I wonder what these... Molo, Molotox? Yeah, you know, it's a futuristic Molotov cocktail. Yeah, some, some of the weapon names looked kind of okay. Uh, 
God, I did not use explosives a lot in this game. So, oh, so I'm not actually sure how to use them. That's not it. Oh yeah, right bumper, duh. Well, we'll probably need proper grenades to do this. I guess I can cook them, huh? Man, that's one tough shark. And I don't even know if this is the shark, right? I mean, it's... it's... There you go. Not the shark. That was not the shark, though. For our purposes, let's say it was the shark. Yeah, sure. Uh, do, they, do they still have the hunting? I mean, obviously the animals are a little wacky. That, that is the hunting. But, this is the hunting. But, or, well, I guess I should say the, the, oh, skin, the skinning and crafting no, is, is no, more they what don't. I meant. No. So you're, um, not, you're not running around making stuff out of animals? No. Uh, there is an upgrade path. Um, there we go. That's our special one. Aha. Uh -huh. Um... Uh, well, yeah, so you you level up, you gain XP, you level up, but instead of spending points, uh, okay. this is sort of, you know, it's just kind of uh, every, every level along, along these lines, every level. You just and the, the, a lot of these are the same uh, abilities that you got in Far Cry 3. You start out with some of the abilities, too. Um, so, you know, you get the takedown level 21. So I finished the game at level 29 out of 30, so, you know, it's, it's you, you get all the stuff. Um, and then also you get, uh, like, these side missions, every single one of them unlocks a weapon attachment oh. that you can then purchase. Oh, thought you had that one. There, got it. Great. Uh, even though it even seems though it to not actually to be dead, be alive. we're just gonna we're just gonna pretend that that uh, that went okay. Hey, that's, that, that, that went fine. That's why it's the rare shark. Exactly. This fucker's tough, resilient. Let's uh, warp somewhere else. Yeah, and, let's. Uh, I wanna, yeah, I, I kind of want to see. Uh, so, are these garrisons basically the equivalent of like the, the outposts? They are. Uh, yeah, they they work a little different. Um, or. or the way you can take them is different. You know, in Far Cry 3, sometimes you'd find animals in cages. Yes. Uh, you do find some of that here, but more importantly, like, all the bases are protected by these large shields. And you can find a button in the base that will disable those shields, and then that will cause the blood dragons to come in. And uh, we can see a blood dragon on the map there. You see uh, the, the dragon life bar there in the corner. Oh, weird. Oh, what? So there, are, there are literal, there are literal dragons. Literal blood dragons. Yeah. Holy shit! Um, Look at that thing. So they don't see very well. So I can kind of duck and and then throw a cyber heart to draw it away. Uh, and this should work. Yeah, it'll head over to where I threw that thing. Cyber, cyber hearts are what blood dragons crave. I take it. Yeah. All right. Naturally. And so you can kind of guide it places. So, you know, if you disable the shields, it'll run to the base and start fighting the troops that uh, that are in control. Why is it and most of the troops color? are these guys. Oh. Or no, sorry, not those guys. Um, those are, those guys are... Those guys are weird. I don't know what those guys are. What was up with the blood dragon turning green? Uh, that might have been while he was ingesting the heart. Ah. Or getting ready to shoot. And, you know, he'll shoot hot laser beams at me and I can... As you see, these things can kind of take it. Yeah. So you can you can get those things into the base. Yeah. When uh, you disable the shields, they uh, Cyber, Cyber Cat. Panther. Cyber Cat. Oh, what's what is your heal animation? Hmm. Uh, that's because I have um, medicine. Okay. The rest of them are like you know welding your arm back together and stuff like that. Like they have kind of the equivalent of. I have explosive rounds for the sniper rifle. Works pretty well. When you get all those attachments, can you toggle that stuff on and off? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but like the sniper rifle is not. There's a, no silencer for it. So it's not your. You know, like Far Cry 3, I got the sniper rifle and then just kind of hung back and took all the outposts with it. Right. And uh, that was really effective. But, uh, okay, that dragon is geez, dead. You splattered that thing. Yeah. They blow up real good. 
Uh, so obviously you've taken this and all the other garrisons, right? Right. At this point? Yeah. Um, so there's a hostage mission over here that we haven't, uh, that I have not done yet. That might be the last thing. Uh, there's a, another hunting one over here, I guess. Uh, so let's fast travel out here. So this is 15 bucks. Did it feel complete to you? Did, I mean, it certainly looks like a lot of stuff. It's seven main missions, uh -huh. and if you just focused on that stuff, you'd re you could really blaze through it. Uh -huh. um, but, you know, like, kind of get around, do the side stuff. There's a bunch of collectibles, um, you know, VHS tapes, stuff like that. Um, and that stuff was fine. I, I didn't really spend too much time on the collectibles. Uh, let's refill ammo here. And as you see, what did I unlock? I actually don't know. Azertron. Um, bag pouch. Sure, why not? Hold more bullets. So it'd be a waste to buy this because I actually unlocked the even larger mag <laughs> ahead of that. Um, and you can only, it seems like you can only equip one, I guess. Um, some of these weapons have no upgrades. Um, but the, the sniper rifle does. You can see semi-auto, better scope, that sort of stuff. But explosive rounds seems pretty effective for that thing. Let's, uh, get, the, let's get that equipped. Love and that little flip. Okay, so hostage rescue is another one of the mission types here. Um, Someone's screwing. We can uh, we can go out here and find this dude. Uh, so with the hostage uh, situations, you'll have a guy that's being held hostage, and as soon as you are spotted, they will go to kill the hostage. Uh -huh. If I just shoot a guy while staying in the shadows, they won't, um, which is pretty dumb from an AI perspective. Yeah. But it makes these missions, you know. I mean, they they at least acknowledge that someone has been shot, right? Uh, yeah, they do. Okay. They do activate. Yeah. All right. Let's. Uh... All the same tagging, yeah, obviously. Yep. Yeah, I can, I can tag with the sniper rifle as well. Works it's, the same you know, way. I don't need to call it my cyber eye. Um, I can read these cyber hints up in the corner. <laughs> They're way into cybering in this uh, game. Yeah, nonstop. So They're cybering saying. all the time. <laughs> uh. All right, that looks to be our hostage there in the cage. So if I'm spotted, someone will run over and immediately start uh, shooting the hostage. But if I just do that and get over here, I should turn on uh, subtitles. It's, you know, it, they're going for that kind of 80s aesthetic. He's got a lot of uh, um, dumb one-liners. Dumb one-liners. Yeah, exactly. Oh, where did they hide them? was in video you know field of view subtitles once again I will call for standardization of the subtitle option in the game industry like where do you where are you gonna put yeah, it every game I'd different. say audio I'd yeah. say audio say audio is most common but gameplay I don't think audio is common at all eh. gameplay is also pretty common yeah it's time to standardize time oh, oh 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 Almost got spotted there. All right, let's just uh, let's get our sniper rifle up here and just take this guy out. Could you ever just run in here and like waste everybody before? Yeah, yeah, probably before they kill the guy. Like you could kind of just put yourself between them and him, right? Shit. Uh oh. Let's find out. Go. Hopefully, you don't know how to shoot through the bars of the cage. Oh boy. Is there a guy in there. Yeah, they got Aww. him. Will they let you try it again? Yeah. All right. I hope so. All these tooltips are written in this kind of above it sort of way that, yeah. that I don't really like. <laughs> the vast majority of them are. Kind of weird how they sort of draw in the terrain before all the filters get applied when you load in there. Yeah, uh, you know, it's still a video game. Uh, do they have like races and some of the real peripheral stuff? From three? Uh, no. Or supply no, drops? No, any of that, uh, any you've, you've kind of seen most of the side mission oh, wow. stuff. It's it's, it's, a, it's this type. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot of hostage stuff. There's a lot of hunting stuff. Right. And sometimes you are hunting. The thing you're hunting is not an animal. Um, so 
Sometimes it'll be like, go over here and kill this elite trooper with a bow and arrow. Right. All right. That's 15 bucks. Can't can't expect the world, I guess. Yeah, I'd say that there's an, there's just enough variety to make it through uh, this thing. Ah, damn it. Damn. Yeah, I don't know about the cyber nerd. Yeah, it's, you know, yeah. Like, eh. A little bit much. It is. I really like their lasers, though. Yeah, uh, the lasers on my gun, was an up that was an upgrade. This thing upgraded from, like, a one-shot thing to a uh, full-auto regular gun, and then I... Right. I got this other stuff, so... I like, I like the enemy's purple lasers. Each faction should have its own color of laser, is what I'm saying. Yeah. 100% agree. You saved me! Huzzah! That's... Hmm. Bit much. Yeah. I kind of, I liked it, but I would I feel like the next time I saw it, I would like it less. Yeah, I've kind of seen the the electric devil horns a lot over right. the course of this game. So, uh, uh, I understand you can uh, flip the bird at any time. Uh, at, yeah, at, it is. At, at it will. is the if you hit the melee button and there's nothing in range to <laughs> melee, he just does this over and over okay, again. Okay, well, I think it's funny that it's the melee button. And if I, if I keep it. hitting it, he'll just yeah keep shooting them. This it's this kind of game. Yeah. This okay. is the kind of game that this is. <laughs> right. You know? Sure. <laughs> he gave me a finger. So I gave him five back. Oh, Michael Bean. What else did Michael Bean have going on? I, uh, you know, probably not much, right? I I I don't like to think that he's working all the time Maybe. or has the ability to work all the time. Sure. Maybe he just doesn't have as, to. As a voice actor or whatever. Um, uh, what's what's the what's with the the, the preoccupation with cyber hearts? Uh, so the cyber hearts are what you use to lure the the blood dragons. Oh, well, so right, but it's I mean, kind of like, useful to, to be able to throw them. Oh, that's the only reason you're taking them. Like, I mean, I have way too many right is, now. Is there is there a story here? I guess is what I'm asking. Beyond uh, the there is a story. I mean, the story is that you're sent into this island uh, because your former commander has gone rogue. Okay. Uh, you know, kind of typical action movie sort of stuff. Sure. Um, and, and it kind of goes from there. So, you know, you'll you'll run across. These are the, the kind of the default enemies over here, these guys. And I can throw ninja stars. Uh, it's, instead of use his own gun to kill him, you throw ninja stars. Because it's that kind of game. Scientists are still fighting somebody. Let's just go over here and... And then uh, eventually you get the this thing. Oh god! Oh, oh. wow! <laughs> wow! All right. So it actually drains your health when you use it. So huh. you have to kind of be careful. Um, but it kind of blows up dudes when it hits them. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's got drivable vehicles, and uh, there's no fall damage because you're a uh, cyborg, which right. kind of fixes yeah. one of the core problems with Far Cry 3. Yeah, that was a pretty... Like, you'd go walking down a ledge like this and end up taking yep. four blocks of damage, yep. even though you don't fall any, real, any significant distance. Real conservative kind of fall distance, yeah, in that game. Are you just like pulling a microchip out of it? I don't know. That they, they don't explain why you get money out of the animals, really. So this is your heal when you don't have oh, weird. medicine. Yeah. It's one of the animations for that. <laughs> Did that say suck? I don't think so. It said something on the back of that animal. Or am I losing my mind? On the back, like back here? Yeah. Oh wow, can you not see that? Mm, no. Is that your color blindness? Oh, oh, okay. Right up here? Can you see it? It's yes. red. Yes, I can see it. Does, it, does, okay. it says yes. sucks. Yes. I have no idea what that's about. That's really weird. Never noticed that before. I don't know if they all say that or not. 
All the enemies talk with that kind of that robot voice. Speak and spell kind of. Yeah. Idiot voice sense. Oh, it says something sucks. Oh, Sloan? Oh, Sloan is the okay. is the main bad guy. Gotcha. Well, apparently the cyber boars are not big fans of Sloan. Yeah. Um. All right, should we take a look at the beginning? Yeah. Let's uh, let's drive around a little bit All here. Right. To yeah, let's we'll, we'll see like. what a. Ugh. It it looks just exactly a, like. Just, you I was going to say just a straight up jeep. I feel like there should be like a hiss tank coming over the hill. Yeah, there are no weird vehicles. Um, real, well, shouldn't say that, but. Okay, I killed too many good guys, Oof. I guess. Eh. Eh. <laughs> Uh, we got uh, one more side mission here we could go on. All right, let's check it out. Kill an elite heavy Omega. All right, let's see what it wants me to use. Okay. And every time you take on a side mission, like the reaction from the, the main character is just like this kind of, what? <laughs> like, and I don't understand why they wrote it that way because nothing you're being presented with is is so crazy that uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it's a weird. It's weird. A lot of fucking dragons over here. Oh, that's right. You gotta. Oh, well, so much for that. Later. Music all seems kind of understated. The music is awesome. Is it? Uh, yeah. Or have, I, have we just not heard much of it? We haven't heard too much of it, but the the music, like stylistically, the music is maybe the truest and best thing about the whole game right, when it comes to hitting the the tone that they're going for. That's exciting. Um, there's some really great stuff. All right. So, what weapon does it want us to use here? Shotgun. Okay, that's doable. I didn't, up, uh, I didn't upgrade the shotgun all that much, uh, I don't think. In fact, this almost seems like it is a not even that upgraded of a... Hmm, weird. Alright, let's go over here and kill a guy. Hold on. Oh, this might not even be the guy I'm supposed to kill. There's another elite over there. So those energy fences never have any bearing on you? No. They just stop the dragons? Just stop the dragons. Weird. All right. Yeah, so, you know, I have all the health in the game, so that's not a very difficult thing to just do in, in a standoff like that. But, you know, the right way would be get behind him, shoot his backpack, all that sure. sort of stuff. There's some of that music. I'm, I'm kind of kind of hearing yeah. a little bit of what you're talking about. Oh, hang on. He called shotgun. He called shotgun is kind of a funny thing to say when you shoot a guy with a shotgun. Uh, but you definitely hear that stuff. I mean, it's not a particular, it's not a super long game, but right. you you know they they did not record enough of, uh, enough catchphrases to make that work for the entire game. You kind of get to a point where you're like, yeah, all right. But I guess that's how shitty catchphrases always work, right? Sure. So maybe it's meta that way. I don't know. Um, <laughs> what? That is another one of his healing animations. Okay. Let's heal all the way up here. That's. It's kind of funny. Uh, I was hoping we would get to see uh, more than just that one over and over again. But uh, there we go. That's it, that one again. 
That was also pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's start from the beginning. Um, and show you kind of the, the tutorial and some of the early stuff. I think this that menu screen's awesome. Yeah. For the it's half fantastic. second there that they showed it. It's yeah, it's fantastic for sure. Uh, nope, not necessary. Yeah. I think the, the the tone of these messages takes away from what they're going for in most of the rest of the game. It's my, it's my main problem with the whole thing. Is mm. that... I'm gonna have to see this intro to kind of get a sense of what you mean. Space. Earth. In the near future. At the end of the 20th century. There's maybe, you know, like six of these type of cutscenes over okay. the course of the game. Uh, but they're all done in this style. Just kinda, it's it's kind of cool. Yeah. Makes me wish I was playing a rotoscoped, side-scrolling <laughs> action game. Sure. From the radioactive ashes of North America, a new breed of soldier is reborn. Who is that? Is that a new like movie trailer guy? I don't know. Main cortex online. Theta waves at four pulses and rising. Four point six now. It's working. Induce delta. Keep them under zero point five pulses. Limb actuators online. Uh huh. Trying to figure out if this is more Robocop or Terminator. It's a little more Robocop, I yeah. guess. Welcome back, Sergeant Rex Power Colt. You are a Mark IV now. Part man, part machine, but all Cyber Commando. Rex Power Colt is a pretty good name. Yeah. It's not even like Power is his nickname. Right. <laughs> just, that's just his full name. <laughs> Op says there's a delay in the feed. They need to recalibrate your ass. Me? Well, it ain't me, because I'm goddamn near perfect. Men want to be me? And you want to be with men. Yeah, I got it. Uh, I've been trying to decide on the true meaning of that line for a little bit. Yeah. Penetrate enemy bunker and download intel on enemy operation. Full lethal sanction enabled. Opposition is black sector threat. Repeat. Uh, later on they talk about his wife and child, so I suppose the meaning is pretty clear. Yeah. Just who the hell are we taking down? Couldn't tell you, Sergeant. But black sector. That could only mean a handful of outfits. All of them bad news, Spider. Alert. Alert. Light arm gun net detected. Healers room 7-3 is no longer on stealth sector. Evasive, evasive, evasive. That mean what I think it means. <laughs> Just like that thing in Central America. I'm gonna have me some fun. So they let you know pretty, pretty much up front what they're going for. I guess so, yeah. To the point where this song just... It's really just out of nowhere. I was gonna and, say. And the rest of the game does not... Well, that would be consistent with Far Cry 3, then, which also featured a really uh, out of, I guess so. like out I of guess left so. field turret sequence with uh, with kind of a random. Uh, well, in that case, it wasn't a licensed song; it was a piece of classical music, sure, if I sure. remember. But still. And it looks awesome, though. Yeah, just uh, it's it, at times it's a little too dark. Yeah, I can uh, see the that. kind of red sky, all yeah. that stuff. Like it can be hard to make out things yeah. sometimes. I'm kind of thinking that it sort of it sort of flattens the the detail or the color palette or something. Yeah. I just all the all the real glowy, bloomy, lasery stuff. Shut us down. 
It was really nice. Yeah. Show them how cyber commandos get it done. Mark Four style, motherfucker. <laughs> so you know. Yeah. I'm glad they made this. Yes. How, however successful it may be. Yes, I, and I think it is largely successful. It's it's. If they had leaned more into this stuff yeah. and less into the. Like wink and nod. Oh, yeah, yeah. Snarky. Kinda. Exactly. If they had played it completely straight, yes. it'd be way funnier yes. and also way better. Yep. But I, can I, I could look at this screen forever. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I will definitely play this. And then this, I mean, honestly, like, it, this is kind of depressing because this. We're actually probably going to show what is my least favorite part of the game because uh -huh. it's it leans hev most heavily into the like the real self-aware stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's 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 a funny tutorial. In, in some other game, I think this tutorial would have been pretty good, but here it just kind of sucks. Well, at least it's not chock full of internet memes, right? Right. Crouch to go lower. Just let me kill people, damn it. To look around, look around. This is not cool. Moving allows you to go in many exciting directions. Why? Running is like walking. Only faster. Fuck. Are these tutorials getting in the way of your mayhem? <sighs> Perform a blade takedown when sneaking up to an enemy. I really like the glowing knife. Yep. Tag enemies to track them more easily. Unsuspecting enemies with your D20, nerd. Yeah. Dumb. Yep. Dumb. Yep. If you just had just left the nerd part off, even I, I that could have that could have been better. Why would Rex Power nope. Colt have twenty-sided dice? Eh. He's way too fucking extreme for that. Sure. What would you have him throw? Just fucking rocks. There's nothing wrong with rocks. Yeah, I guess they, so. did, they didn't need to change every little thing to try and like fit it into whatever their weird jokes were. Like, it, sure. it, it's, it it just seems weird. Like it just seems out of place. Cyber rocks. Yeah, sure, sure, Vinny. Cyber rocks. <laughs> this thing really is pretty u unusual and unexpected, though. You know? Yeah. Like, totally. How often do you see like this? You know. The standalone kind of well, like, yeah. crazy stylistic, right? But especially, yeah. especially lev leveraging like this like ridiculously powerful engine that powered this like right. much much more highly produced game. Uh, it seems like a smart way to like take a bunch of tech that they built and get something extra out of it. Yeah, I, that, I think it's a smart way. To, I mean, you know, like like what are they going to do for DLC for Far Cry exactly. Three? Like, yeah. you know, it's multiplayer maps. Who cares? Fuck that. Like, who cares? More story stuff. I, I, you know, I don't know that, that works either. But this, this is you get a standalone thing. Yep. You get a, a unique style uh, that is is largely successful, and you get something that's still. And this one is terrible. Like he's right. Like that's not a funny joke. That's like yeah, <laughs> this is a really fucking <laughs> shitty tutorial. You Congratulations, like guys. Um, yeah, I, I think this is conceptually awesome. I would love to see like things of this nature. Uh, come around more often. I think it's a it's a really cool way yeah, to handle it. It's yeah, it's, it's really exciting. Uh, you know, you got this. You got like what they're supposedly doing with the Bioshock DLC, which is not going to be bolted onto the story, right? But some kind of separate... yeah, like your Minerva's Den style yeah, stuff. Yeah, or, you know, like, even even if it does require the main game, right? Something that that can kind of stand on its own. Totally. Because uh, most games, if they're designed and written properly, like you've seen them through already, right? There aren't many cases where even if it's post-story stuff, where you really want to go back and continue things. 
Uh, and sure as shit, not Far Cry 3. <laughs> yeah. I don't care which ending you picked. That was about enough of that. Uh, but the game seems super fun, you know, so... Oh, I actually do need to heal here. I'm already hurt again. Oh, jeez. I got caught on something. Heal. Yeah, you gotta kind of take this, this part a little slow. Zap. It was not a quick look friendly area. I like how you die, though. It's the straight up Terminator yeah. style. Yeah, totally. Screen shutting off. Yeah. So uh, from here, you know, you kind of meet up with your guy again and, and right. uh, your 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 buddy, and the story takes off. You actually start with all the basic weapons. Oh, wow. Um, which is something I completely forgot. After performing a blade takedown, you can shuriken a nearby enemy. Yep, I'm a fire. Oh, well. Suggestion. You know, I hope seeing, you know, a big publisher like Ubisoft doing something like this, I hope is, uh, is like a, a good portent for the way that the, you know, the download services might expand right. and evolve on the new consoles. Like a whole, a whole new tier of like sort of 15 to $30 games like this. Right. Could be really yeah. exciting. Because this, they're trying something crazy here and it's like a higher level of production than you'd see out of a lot of, you know, smaller indie games. Right. But still totally weird and, and offbeat. Yeah, it, it definitely, you know, the stakes are a little lower. It gives them, gives them a chance to experiment. Right. Uh, and that's pretty cool. Yep, for um, sure. So, yeah, I, I think it'd be a, a neat way to for, for this stuff to evolve. Um, and, yeah, I don't know. Generally speaking, I, I, I do like it. Yeah. It's a good time. And, and yeah, if you if you like Far Cry 3, there's more of that here in, in a meaningfully different way. Uh, so it's not just the same thing all over again. I'm on board. Yeah. You sold me. It's cool. All right. See ya. Thanks.